What has changed in the last year with the energy crisis is that affordability and of course security of supply are back on the agenda, on the, on the top spot of the agenda. It's not only about climate protection anymore, but it's also about security of supply and affordability. And what we see is a massive underinvestment in the energy sector. So the solution to both the climate targets and uh, security of supply is massive investments in the energy system. I think we should not exclude any kind of fuels. I mean, it's in the end, and that's what we discussed about emissions and how can we bring emissions down. And we need to be open and pragmatic to all solutions we have on the table. Of course, that is green power by the sun and the wind, but it can also be carbon capture and storage and still use gas for quite a while and then turning that over time into green gases. I think we have now the right discussions. Um, I mean, for a long time, politicians have thrown out big targets in CO2 emissions. Now we are discussing big targets of employing technologies, gigawatts, and so on. But now the next wave is how do we all put the puzzle pieces together that we start with what we need from the demand side, but also how do we put the supply chain in place that we can actually deliver on the promises being made. And if you ask the consumer, the consumer wants green energy, but he also wants reliable and affordable energy, and it's a highly complex uh, program. So I think we need to be more transparent to make uh, the consumer clear what kind of choices are there and what do they cost. I think basically there is a willingness to pay a higher price for green energy, but not too high. I think every part of the energy industry can play a very relevant role, and I mean, discussing oil and gas. Going back, I mean, it was all about renewables, renewables producing green electricity and then green molecules. But now it's totally clear that that will take very long time and we have actually faster ways to, to decarbonize and put carbon into the ground by also using CCS technology. And of course, that is something where the oil and gas industry can play a very relevant role. And by that, accelerating actually the decarbonization.